Hello there. This expression might change your life. This is Split. Split is essential for any kind of template optimized efficient workflow. It's incredible. Your template game just goes when you have this. But first, arrays. First thing, we need to learn how arrays work. I've written a sentence here, just text, right? So look, I can change this here and that changes. I can put a dot here and now it's using the first word. I can put that dot here. What Split is doing, you know when you're uploading a video and it's asking you to write in tags or like search terms and you have to separate them by commas. This is doing the same thing, but here it's separating it by whatever you put in here. This is the argument. What do you want to use to split it? I would like to use a full stop. So if I use a full stop, the same text is given back to us, but there's a comma at every full stop. I can change it to space, and now there's a comma at every occurrence of a space. Same with a hyphen. Now the comma is there. What this is telling us is that it's turning this normal sentence into a list of phrases. So I can say, I would like to split it by space. And then I would like the first one, please. So you put these square brackets, put a zero. Every time it sees a space, it makes a new list item, okay? It splits it up. So now if you look at the first one in the list, in this list that it's made, you get learning. If I do one, which is the second one, arrays A. This is because it's a break line. I put a space there, now it's gone. If I do two, three, you get the idea. If I change this to the hyphen, let's just do hyphen by itself, okay? Gives you the whole thing back, but where the hyphen used to be, it's now replaced that with a comma. Say, I want the first one, bang. Or I want the second one. Now it's got just that second part of it. And that's how this stuff works. These are what arrays are. Are you still confused? An array that you're always using is the position or the scale value because it's X and Y, X and Y two values contained in one property. So one variable that contains two values. And I can show you that. If you just grab this one, that's just a position, right? And that gives you this. One, two, two, comma, seven. Same as before, right? You've seen that comma now. If I instead grabbed this one, not the position itself, but the X position, look at that. It adds this little zero and now it's just that one. If instead I grab the Y position, that would change to one. That is how this stuff works. And same thing with, if you want to do something with code with these properties, you have to always output it, bracket, X, Y. This is an array, array of two items. This is the list. Now that you know how arrays work, have a look at this. <laughs> the lower third. Everyone's always making a lower third. It's the easiest template. I don't want to change it here. I want to change it there. So I can be like Razik Designer. That's what I'd like it to do. How do we do that? Well, quite simply, find source text, this comp, so this composition name. So the name of this composition, you see that what it's done. It's taken the name of the composition and it's split it by all the spaces. Well, let's make this simple. If you get rid of this and then you made it the dash to be the divider. Now you would just get whatever's on the left of that dash would be the name. See this? You see what it's done here? It's split up the thing with the dash as the divider. So I'd say, no, I want the first one, please. That's the name. And then I'd copy that down here. Hang on, let me just make this capitals. And then I copy that down here, same situation. And then let's say, I want the second one, please, for that. And there you go. And now I can say, Razik Designer, done. That's it. Imagine you need to make loads of these. Bang, Fred Hoyle, astronomer. John Doe, artist. You go into these, John Doe, artist, Razik Designer, Fred Hoyle, astronomer. This makes templating so easy. There's just the flavor of it. Here's another example. What day is it? Say it. There's a calendar cell I've made. You wanna make a calendar. Something that looks a bit like this. I've just done one row for now. So what would I do? Essential graphics is your friend here. Go to calendar cell one. I'd put the one as a text. Calendar number. Then I would set the event text. That's done now. Now you go here You see all these essential graphics have turned up. Let's collapse all these for now. Now we open this up, calendar number appears. And if you go to the properties panel, you can change that here. This is gonna be this layer name split. Let's just do one. And now if I copy this to the other ones, number, I'll do paste. Now they all say calendar one, calendar one, calendar one. And then you can say two, three, four. Now they're all numbered. And now just duplicate. That's a nine now, 10. Do you see the ease here? You're just duplicating and positioning. And now you've got those. Duplicate all of that, down you go. That just duplicated an entire row. And because it's using the calendar name and it auto numbers when you duplicate layers, that's the result you get. You can change that back to a one and make it 50%. It's the next month. Oh, what are we doing today? Now we've got these events here. So you wanna maybe add an event. Tutorial. We could say this layer name split, but I want the split argument to be the number. So I just want everything after the number. Because if I wrote space, what would happen if I use space? I could say, yeah, that works for the first one. That's really nice. Yeah, I love that. And you go to the second one, solar eclipse. What do you get? You just get solar because there's a space after that. So the way I do this is I say, instead of using space, just use what the number was. I want everything after the number. And there you go. 
solar eclipse. And now this can be as long as you want. That just works. You can see here there's a little extra space at the beginning because it's splitting it at the number. So everything after the number is fair game. So to get rid of this little space, you add this little thing at the end called trim. Trim gets rid of the space at the start and end of a text. And then now if I copy that expression and I select all of these and I click, what is it? Event, right? I'll just do this and I just click all of those. So now they all have that. All of them have gone blank because I don't have events for some of them. So I can say, hey, appointment, bang. So this is all because of Split. So Split has done all this. It really opens up possibilities. Split changed my life completely. I think it will change yours too. If you're doing any kind of work like this, this, this changes the game.